Let's talk today about your thoughts. Your thoughts. Learn to choose your words. Some of us have wrong motives. My name is Helen Cummings Henry and I am the author of Transforming Lives, a three-step guide in becoming a better you. Today I want to touch on thoughts. Learn to choose your words. Learn to choose your words. Wrong thoughts about others can get you in trouble. Write that down. Wrong thoughts about others can get you in trouble. And when I say that, we have to learn to distinguish when thoughts are not good. Many people think wrong of others. We ought to examine ourselves and not find fault in others. A lot of us find faults in others. But before we find fault in others, we ought to examine ourselves. Before you judge someone, listen to this carefully, and I want you to judge it down. Before you judge someone, examine yourself. It is important not to judge. And these steps I'm giving you today, I want you to jot it down and make note of it. Finding fault, blaming and accusing others of things that they did not do or say. Your thoughts can be very harmful. Yes, it does. It can be very harmful. Write that down. Choose what kind of thoughts you entertain. I'm going to give you now some steps that you can take in changing your thoughts. Get ready to write these steps down. The first step is to think positive. Change your thoughts. Let them be good thoughts. Am I speaking to someone today? Am I helping someone today? When you think of positive thoughts, and when you hear that word positive, does it ring a bell to you? Does it do something for you? You find and you feel better and confident 
in yourself. Appreciate people. Appreciate people. Think the best in others. Think the best in others. And these are the steps that you need to write down. Forgive others. Love people. Are you ready to be transformed? Are you ready to change your life and become a better you? These steps I'm giving you is to change your thoughts. By using these steps, it not only changes the way you think, but it also transforms your mind. Appreciate people for who they are. We ought to appreciate people for who they are. We cannot change people. We cannot change people. No, we cannot. We ought to accept the things we cannot change. Write that down. The courage to do the things we can and the wisdom to know the difference. That's it, that's it. Write that down. I will repeat it. The courage to do the things we can and the wisdom to know the difference. Are you appreciating the things you have and enjoying life in the fullest? That's the question. Are you appreciating the things you have and enjoying life to the fullest? Are you appreciating the small things in life? Grateful for the things that you have. We ought to be grateful. We ought to enjoy life. Life is not promised to no one. We should enjoy each precious moment and hold on to all of life's promises. These steps I'm giving you is so important that it will help you to be a better you. Let's go of the past. Let's go of the past. We have to let go of the past. How many times I've spoken that to a lot of people, even myself. <laughs> yes. I speak to myself as well. Let 
go of the past. I tell myself that many times. You cannot change the past. You can change the future. You can change the future. Live your life doing good things. Write these steps down, it will help you tremendously. When you do good things, good comes back to you. Yes, it does. Achieve the goals you want to achieve. Many of us went through challenges in life, but you cannot keep going back to the past. You cannot keep going back to the past. The past will not do any good for you if you keep going back. I am, am I helping someone today? I am helping someone today because we all sometimes go back to the past. We ought to look to the future. As I sum it up today, in order to change your thoughts, listen to this carefully, in order to change your thoughts, you must leave the past behind. It's hard sometimes for some people. Sometimes it's hard for me, but I've learned, <laughs> I've learned to leave the past behind. Are you ready to be transformed? you ready to change your thoughts and become a better you? My book, Transforming Lives, is available on my website www.helen h e l e n c h dot org helen c h dot org for international you can get it at Amazon.com. You can also reach me at my email address at Helen J as in Jennifer C as in Cat zero eight at Yahoo. Com. I want you to be transformed. I want you to change your life and to change your thoughts and become a better you. 
Let's begin the journey now.